Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on my everyday makeup routine. This is what I wear to work. The first thing I do is I always remove my makeup because I don't always get all of my eye makeup off. And sometimes I am lazy and I don't remove my makeup. We're all human. So yes, I sleep with it on sometimes. So after I remove my makeup, I then go ahead and sometimes I like to shape my eyebrows with a little razor. Here it is, here's the clip. I don't do this every day because I don't need it every day, but I do it probably three times a week. And I make some really crazy faces during this, so I do apologize. I go above and below and then sometimes in the middle, of course. You don't need that unibrow. And now I'm going to go ahead and moisturize with my favorite moisturizer. This is the Garnier Moisture Rescue for dry skin, and it's the pink gel formula. I really love it. It's super hydrating, and it doesn't, like, bunch up or anything like you think it would. And I really, really love this. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with a hard candy eye primer and do my eyelids. Go ahead and rub that in. And now I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction Palette and take the first one called Righteous. Wait, no, it's not. It's called Vengeance, and I love it. You know what? I don't know. It's a light eyeshadow. It's matte. Now I'm going to go in with Tyranny, which is my favorite color. It's a warm, beautiful, chestnutty brown. I love it as a transition color, and I just put that in my crease, and I work it in. And then I'm going to take this dark brown, which I'm not sure of the name, and I'm doing the outer corner kind of messily and blunt, and I blend it out with a brush, and then I take some more of the light shade and go ahead and blend out the other colors. Now I'm taking the Smashbox Artificial Luminizing Light Powder and putting that on my lids and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out a little bit. And that's just going to be my base color but it's just something that's super natural. I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes there but you know. Alright. So now I'm going to take my Leo Ellie Baby Cream Foundation which is really great foundation, but it's too dark for me, just a little bit. And I'm going to dot that all over my face, and then I'm going to take my foundation brush, and I'm going to wipe it all over my makeup remover wipe, just to get it a little damp, and I'm going to blend that into the skin. This covers up any redness, any blemishes, any just grossness that I have on my face, and it also covers up pores without having to use a primer, which is really good too. So I just make sure that's nicely blended in. The brush I'm using, I have a uh, review for, so I'm going to go ahead and link it down below for you guys. This is the first time I'm trying this e.l.f. HD lifting concealer in the color Fair and I really really like it. You guys will see the results here in a second. And I'm just going to take that same brush and pat it into the skin instead of really rubbing. So I'm just patting it. And it's super lifting. So I did that on both eyes and now I'm going to take that and do the center of my face on the ridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and on my forehead and I'm just going to blend it out the same way I did my eyes too and I really really like this I just go back in between and wipe my brush off onto that makeup remover wipe if I need to and that's pretty much it for that now I'm going to take my airspun loose powder and I'm going to go ahead and set my whole entire face I'm going to kind of do it a little bit heavily and then we will get rid of the rest here in a second you can see I don't even care if I have a white patch. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and put on the Love Alpha Transplanting Gel Mascara, which I have a review for. Again, it'll be linked down below. Absolutely love that, so had to do it. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with the Ulta Brow Expert Powder and Wax. I have a review for this too. It'll be linked down below. Really, really like it. Super cheap stuff. You guys have to have it. And I'm going to blend that out with a spoolie, of course, from e.l.f. Now I'm going to take that Smashbox Artificial Luminizing Light Powder and put that in the inner corners of my eyes and blend it out a little bit so that I look more awake. And you guys will see that beautiful shimmer. Now I'm taking a Tokidoki Kabuki brush and blending away all of the extra powder that I might have. That way I don't look super cakey or anything, and that just looks super awesome. Now I'm going to take my Hard Candy Bronzer. I don't remember the name. It'll be listed down below. And I'm just going to bronze my face with it. I absolutely love this bronzer, especially for my skin tone. I think it's really, really great. Super nice and warm. Absolutely love it. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade Praline. It's a new one that I recently just picked up, and I absolutely love it. Then I go in the center with a Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Blush, and I put that in the middle, and then I spray my face with just some regular water. And that's the finished look, you guys. It's super simple. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. All the products that I use are going to be mentioned down below in the description box. 
and I hope to see you guys at my next video. Subscribe for more videos, of course, and I'll see you at my next